Section 6 of The Aesop for Children. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Jill Ingle. The Aesop for Children by Aesop. The Farmer and the Stork. A stork of a very simple and trusting nature had been asked by a gay party of cranes to visit a field that had been newly planted. But the party ended dismally with all the birds entangled in the meshes of the farmer's net. The stork begged the farmer to spare him. "'Please let me go,' he pleaded. "'I belong to the stork family, who you know are honest and birds of good character. Besides, I did not know the cranes were going to steal.' "'You may be a very good bird,' answered the farmer, "'but I caught you with the thieving cranes, "'and you will have to share the same punishment with them. "'You are judged by the company you keep.'" THE SHEEP AND THE PIG One day a shepherd discovered a fat pig in the meadow where his sheep were pastured. He very quickly captured the porker, which squealed at the top of its voice the moment the shepherd laid his hands on it. You would have thought, to hear the loud squealing, that the pig was being cruelly hurt. But in spite of its squeals and struggles to escape, the shepherd tucked his prize under his arm and started off to the butchers in the marketplace. The sheep in the pasture were much astonished and amused at the pig's behavior, and followed the shepherd and his charge to the pasture gate. "'What makes you squeal like that?' asked one of the sheep. The shepherd often catches and carries off one of us, but we should feel very much ashamed to make such a terrible fuss about it like you do. "'That is all very well,' replied the pig, with a squeal and a frantic kick. "'When he catches you he is only after your wool, but he wants my bacon. Gree! It is easy to be brave when there is no danger. THE TRAVELERS AND THE PURSE Two men were traveling in company along the road when one of them picked up a well-filled purse. "'How lucky I am!' he said. "'I have found a purse. Judging by its weight, it must be full of gold.' "'Do not say, I have found a purse,' said his companion. "'Say, rather, we have found a purse, and how lucky we are. Travelers ought to share alike the fortunes and misfortunes of the road.' "'No, no,' replied the other angrily. "'I found it, and I am going to keep it.' Just then they heard a shout of, "'Stop, thief!' and looking around saw a mob of people armed with clubs coming down the road. The man who had found the purse fell into a panic. "'We are lost if they find the purse on us,' he cried. "'No, no,' replied the other. "'You would not say we before, so now stick to your eye. Say, I am lost.' We cannot expect any one to share our misfortunes unless we are willing to share our good fortune also. THE LION AND THE ASS One day, as the lion walked proudly down a forest aisle, and the animals respectfully made way for him, an ass brayed a scornful remark as he passed. The lion felt a flash of anger, but when he turned his head and saw who had spoken, he walked quietly on. He would not honor the fool with so much as a stroke of his claws. Do not resent the remarks of a fool. Ignore them. End of section 6